Hello and welcome to another Lightroom editing tutorial. So similar to my last video, I'll now show you a technique which I use to bring more atmosphere to my photos, but it's a little more subtle than the last one. So this image here I captured in the German Rhone and it was an intense, colorful sunset, yet in the raw photo it doesn't really show. So the scene as I stood there was much more spectacular for me. And yeah, I want to bring back some of that atmosphere. So the technique I now show you works best if you already have some light in the scene. I've seen this technique applied also to images where there is no light at all. I mean, it works. It can also make such images more three-dimensional, give them more depth, but I think it works best if there's already some light. And a side light like we have here is perfect. You already see there's a subtle glow going on here, some light bleed, and I haven't yet started to work on this image. What I now do is I want to extend or enhance this glow. But first let's make the base settings. So I'll use just a little preset. So it's landscape image. So I set the baseline. Next step is I bring up the tint a bit down the white balance. So just in the white balance for the image. So this was a bit too much magenta. Maybe go with something like that. And now it already looks much more like what I've seen. And we're not going to go through these settings. So those are not the topic of the tutorial. Let me also quickly bring in a vignette. And now I want to show you what I do to such images. So let's bring up the masking panel and let's first create a radial gradient mask. And what I do, I zoom out a bit because I want to make a very big gradient. And I started outside of the frame, roughly where the sun could be. So it was off to the side. And now I stretch it and I angle it a bit. So in the direction as the light of the sun shines into the scene, I can make it even a little bigger. And I extend it nearly over the complete scene. I can reposition it a bit and maybe make it a little bit smaller, something like that. Now with the mask in place, we can make the adjustments. So first I want to bring up the exposure a bit and counter this by bringing down the highlights. So if we make this panel wider, I can just click here on the eye, you see the before and after. So it's just a very subtle effect. And next I want to bring up the temperature and also the tint, but just a bit, it shouldn't be too magenta. So maybe go with plus three. And then the most important slider, same as in the last video is again the dehaze and I bring it down, but not as much as when I was introducing fog into a scene. Here it's just a little haze added to the background, which makes this side light here glow even more. You see the before and after. So this already looks good. We can now zoom out again and reposition this a bit, maybe make it even a bit wider, something like that. Now, this is not yet done, so that's just the first step. And this already looks nice, but we're gonna add a second mask, make it again a radial gradient. This one, I make it a circular gradient and I make it much smaller. So again, zoom out so I can position it better. So it should be roughly positioned where the other one started, something like that. Now let's zoom in. Now with this one, I'm gonna be a little bit more heavy on those sliders. So I bring up the exposure twice as much as in the first, roughly. Again, also bring down the highlights to counter it. So see the before and after. And again, I give it even more warmth, also a little bit of tint. And this time try the clarity, so bring it down and up. You see the effect. So let's bring down the clarity a bit and also the dehaze. And now we see the before and after. So that's even more glow. I can even bring up the exposure a bit more and add even more temperature, make it warmer. So now we can see the before and the after. So this already looks good. Let's zoom out again and reposition this a bit. So this is really an intense glow here. I can also make it a bit smaller, position it right next to the edge of the frame, fine tune it a bit more. So make it even brighter if I want, bring down the highlights a bit, add a little bit of magenta. And you can always also use the amount slider here to tone down or increase the effect to your liking. So it's typical first setting might be too much. You then have to come back to the image an hour later or two or the next day and usually dial it down a bit. So that's just a tip. Now this is not done yet because now we brighten a lot. What we also want to do, we want to darken the sky a bit more. Let's bring in a linear gradient this time. 
and I draw down also diagonally roughly the same angle as I used for the first radial gradient. I make this a soft gradient. We can also fine tune it later. And this time I'll add contrast, bring down the highlights, so to darken the sky. And I'll also again use the dehaze, but this time I'm gonna push it into the other direction to see how much structure this adds. Typical for dehaze also, it adds a lot of blue. So I'll either have to warm it up then or go a little lighter on this. What I can also do, push the clarity because there is nice structure in the clouds and by adding clarity, those contrasts I emphasized a lot. So let's go with something like that and maybe stop the gradient around here because otherwise we'll lose a lot of the glow we just added. You can also want if you like to rather work with the curves than with the contrast, use the curves, introduce a bit of an S curve. And as I said, this is now getting a lot blue here. So I bring up the temperature and also the tint a bit. And I think I'm gonna turn down the dehaze a touch and maybe feather this out a bit more. Something like that. And if you find the blue gets too saturated, you can use the point color, which is a new tool in Lightroom. Just sample the color here and then yeah, reduce the saturation. What also looks nice is if you just decrease the luminosity a bit on the blue, then you can keep a bit more of the saturation. Something like that. And with that, let's see the before and after. We added a lot more drama to the image. I mean, it's obviously not finished. So see the before and the after, but we've already come quite a way. And I think the most important or most interesting adjustments are those glowing side light adjustments here because they emphasize or enhance the light that's already there and give the image also a little bit more depth. Okay, so I hope you find this technique helpful. Just play around with it. You can also use it if you have the sun in the frame. You can use the same technique by placing, for example, this radial gradient around the sun and play around with it. So this might also work, but I find most of the time such side light is just perfect. Okay, so if you're still around before I close this video, I also want to again announce my photo tour for Wild Morocco, which I'm doing next February. So it's eight nights, nine days, awesome landscapes in the south of Morocco. So we have the desert, the Akshigaga with endless dunes. We have mountains, we have cities. Morocco is a very beautiful country and we'll explore some of the best photo spots during that tour. So yeah, if you have time and are interested to join me on that tour, there are still spots available. And yeah, till then, till the next video, see you, bye.